The Greensboro Science Center is working to be a safe haven for bees. WFMY News 2's Christian Morgan got a look at the new bee colonies at the Science Center and shows us why it's so important to take care of them. All right, meteorologist Christian Morgan back with our friends again at the Greensboro Science Center. So glad to have Connor Harris here with us today. And Connor, we're going to get all sciencey for you over the next couple of minutes. We're going to talk about something new or newer to the Greensboro Science Center. Hadn't been here in a couple of years, but we have a brand new bee colony back. Yeah, so it's been about three years since we've had honeybees here. As you can see behind us, we got two brand new hives. Uh, got them just back in April. So we are going to be using them as a great educational and conservational piece, as well as hopefully getting a little bit of honey down the road. All right, love it. And why is it important to have this exhibit or new colony now back at the Greensboro Science Center? Yeah, sure. So, so all pollinators are important, native or our honeybees. So honeybees actually came over oh, a little over 400 years ago. And since then, we have grown with them, and they've become an important part of our pollination uh, services. And not only are these animals important for us and across the world, but they are a great educational component because everybody can identify and work with, you know, a honeybee. They know them. How quickly is the bee population dwindling? So honeybees have a lot of pressures that, you know, force them, uh, their colonies and populations to decline. Things like climate change, deforestation, but also a lot of bacteria bacterial infections, uh, also mite and pests that we have to worry about. There are a lot of things that we can do to help, but some of the main things are just being proactive about how we take care of our honeybees. All right, so Connor, we're moving a little closer down here to the actual hive, and I was a little shaky when you first mentioned that we could do that, but we're actually inside the ropes here at the Greensboro yeah. Science Center, and we're specifically standing on one side of the hive, mm -hmm. and it was interesting how you were explaining their flight path to me, so yeah. tell me how that works. Yeah, of course, so first of all, don't always recommend this for everybody, but you know, we're down here with somebody who's trained, and I just want to get you guys a little bit closer. So yeah, like you said, the flight path, as you can see these bees coming in and out, normally the flight path of our honeybees is going to be straight out. So really when you see a, a honeybee hive, you, you really want to stay out of right in front of them. You want to come up from the side or from behind and you want to check. If you ever want to look at the entrance, you want to come around from the side and look in at it. How long do you think it'll be before we get some honey? Ooh, it could be not until later this year, okay. probably the fall, September, but this year I'm trying to keep all the honey, okay. keep them for the hives themselves, and hopefully next year we'll have a lot for some people. Cool. We'll check back in with you in the fall. Connor, thank yeah. you.